Uh, really, um, this is a new ministry and the partnership that Ghana has had with FAO in terms of uh, with regards to fisheries started under the Minister of Fisheries, um, Minister of Food and Agriculture. And uh, continuing, we wish to uh, still partner FAO in aquaculture development. FAO has helped Ghana to develop our strategic framework in aquaculture, policy in aquaculture. And now we have a Ghana National Aquaculture Development Plan, which we hope to launch in July uh, with the assistance of FAO. And that is a partnership that we want to roll forward with uh, the FAO. The other area the FAO has partnered Ghana is in the development of tilapia. Uh, Ghana has very large water bodies for aquaculture development. The Volta Lake is the largest man-made lake in the world, and um, FAO was involved in the uh, tilapia in Volta project that is helping uh, fish farmers uh, grow fish on the Volta Lake. Ghana's biggest challenge or issue with regards to fisheries is the fact that Ghana is a big fish-consuming country. Um, I noticed that um, there is the concerted effort to make uh, fish recognized as food. Uh, but this has been the case in Ghana for centuries. Fish is food in Ghana. And fish caters for uh, millions of people. About 2.4 million people in Ghana rely on fish on the fishery sector for their livelihood. And so anything that happens to fishery sector will impact negatively on um, a very large number of people in, 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 in Ghana. It is a key component to uh, uh, food security in Ghana. And the dwindling catch, the, um, the fall in catch uh, due to overexploitation, which is a global phenomenon, uh, is a big challenge. Uh, we need to improve upon our management practices, particularly impact uh, capacity uh, to the small-scale fishers uh, so they are able to do more sustainable fish catch and also assist um, the women, particularly, who are involved in pr uh, fish processing and marketing so they are able to uh, preserve their fish and manage uh, post-harvest catch. Uh, Post-harvest loss is big in Ghana. It can go up to about 37% and we need to manage that area.